welcome back to my channel, Tammy. Please hit subscribe, comment, and like if you're liking my videos and you want to see more of my subscriptions. I think right now, I have to, I have to take an actual tally, but I think right now we're on box number 11. This one I just got off of Amazon. It's not really a monthly subscription box, but you could get it monthly if you so chose to do so. And I do have another food box, and I'm really, really hungry, and I've already started to kind of get into the box a little bit. So before I eat it all, I thought I would do a unboxing of these Turkish Delights, these Turkish Munchies box. So I'm very excited to show you some of the stuff and it actually comes with a little pamphlet that gives you background on all of the products. Um, and you cannot take this if you have major allergies. Do not order this if you have allergies to milk, eggs, peanuts, almonds, wheat, soybeans, walnuts, or pecans. So if those are something that you can't have, don't order this. It's not for you. We'll see if the next one is. So the first thing in here is this hella big wafer. It is in a language I can't read or pronounce, but it's a kosher wafer. It's halva, hal, halva, right? That's how you say it. Say of it, halva. Um, and this is from 1907, so they've been around for a while. I'm gonna assume this is like a vanilla type flavor. These snacks were founded in Turkey. This one was invented in the 1400s. 1400s, this snack. This has been around for over 600 years. Uh, so. This was invented to have with ice cream. So, really unique items already. I've already tasted some. The one that I've tasted, um, so I guess they didn't have pizza in Turkey for a really long time. So like when Ninja Turtles came out, all of these kids were begging their parents for pizza. So they came out with like pizza crackers. And I had these one night because I was so freaking hungry and they were so freaking good. So they tasted like spicy Dorito crackers. They were good. Oh, and it does come with a nutrition label. So if you're on a diet or whatever, which I am not. So the next thing in here that I really want to eat is a little biscuit type thing. Um, this one is a classic. Sin means gin in English. Curious about its history? Many Turkish people have a superstition that the world sin calls for bad souls and they never use the word sin in their daily lives. They instead call it the three letter entities. Believe it or not, some, some supermarkets sell Etta sin, not as Etta sin, but a three letter entity. Yes, when you buy it in Turkey, you may see it in that slip. You pay, you buy three letter entity and not Etna sin. So, yeah, they don't, sin is a bad word, apparently. So they don't, or it means a bad thing. So they don't say it. So this is like, a snack where they have to say the three letter word which is weird so it's almost like a swear word or something so like I'm eating a swear word I don't know but it looks good it has little chocolate sprinkles over it it looks really really good and this one I took a look at this one is chocolate banana wafers so definitely something weird something different um, this one is like a pretzel cracker. It's a Turkish cracker, salty 
sticks crackers and I've been wanting to eat these because I'm like running out of food <laughs> so bad so like as soon as I'm done with this I'm gonna be eating actually let's open them up right now these are good these are really good I like them all right I'm gonna put those down because I'd probably eat like the whole bag while I'm on camera. Okay, so the next thing is a little puff it. It's strawberry. There's little strawberries and a little airplane on the back. So it looks really cute and it looks really delicious. So this is a dessert one though. So I'm not in a desserty mood. So actually, hold on. I need some water. So much better pretzels by themselves <laughs> really make you thirsty and this by the way I got in my last fab fit fun box and I should be getting one of those very soon I'm super duper excited super duper super super duper and a cause box and like 15 more boxes so a thera box a special one that I am so excited to reveal like you're going to be blown away by this box. So stay tuned to find out what the mind-blowing box is. This is a chocolate and nut atta badalo. Badalo. But it's like a chocolate wafer bar snack. So, you can so we kind of got like two wafer bar types. Well, three wafer bar type snacks. Um... There is also another wafer. I'm sorry, maybe this one wasn't bananas that I got the first time. No, this was another chocolate and nut one. I'm sorry. This one, nine Kit Tat. I'm assuming that's what it says. Is with bananas because I can see the pictures of bananas. So that's that one. I've been looking to eat these too because they look really good. They're like cracker sticks, but like it looks like an explosion of flavor happened onto them. So I'm gonna open up these ones too. It's part of the product review. I gotta review the product. They pack a lot of flavor under these little sticks. These are good. Kind of like garlicky. I really like these. Those are good. All right, and then so second to last, we have two little gob stopper type things. Sadat Escuzi X. I have no idea how to pronounce this. This is all in Turkish, so but. They're making funny faces. So, so the last item I have is kind of like a Pop Rocks, a Turkish type of Pop Rocks out of my Turkish delights, Turkish munchies, getting fancy with it, getting fancy with it, with my food. I'm going to Turkey to get my food. Where do you get your food from? Here? Anyways, <laughs> these are like Pop Rocks. Should I give some to my kitty? Should I give some to Hayes? No, that would be mean. <laughs> That'd be so mean. But we're going to try a couple of these. And you hear it? It, it. What do you think? <laughs> he doesn't like them. Back in a minute. I don't like them that much either. <laughs> I grew out of Pop Rocks like 20 years, 25 years ago. Something like that. Hold on. Okay. So I spit them out. Not to be gross. 
and they're still making noise in the garbage. So much so that the cat has gone over to the garbage <laughs> and looking inside like something's making noise. So, but definitely a cool little box for $14.99 and you get it in, you know, Amazon shipping time. So, and like I said, it gives you like this whole big pamphlet that gives you the history on like all the different things. Oh, some of the things I did not get in my box. So it would kind of be crazy to try to find everything in here sporadically on the spot. And that's how I'm doing this video. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe wherever it is down there. Hit like, comment, and make sure you do that so we can get that giveaway started get it started doesn't people want free stuff I'm gonna be giving away some makeup and also some Nicola Nicola Valente I said the name wrong the whole time in the video I made I said Nicholas Valente when it's Nicolo Valente so yeah just a English grammar mishap again on my part but thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a good day bye